my channel, Glow with Candace, and if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to see you back. So hit the subscribe button down below to see future videos like this and more by me. And don't forget, hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified for any future uploads of mine. Today, I'm gonna be going over some holiday items, some of my favorite things to do this time of year. I love it when holiday collections start coming out, and then I start seeing what I like and what I'm intrigued by, and then I start purchasing stuff, and then of course share with you guys um, how I feel about the products. So today we're gonna be doing two products from MAC. I purchased their holiday lipstick in the shade for my next trick, which is a mid-tone pink. And then I also purchased the MAC highlighter in Hyper Real Glow Duo in the color Fortune Teller slash Blizzard Wizard, which is a red with pearl and white that breaks gold. I'm really excited to share these two products with you guys and show you real time use and how they look. I haven't applied my highlighter yet. I haven't applied the lipstick yet. So I have all the rest of my makeup on. So I'm gonna apply these for you guys today. I'm gonna give you swatches and let you know what I think. So the first product we're gonna go over is the highlighter from MAC. And it's such a long name, I have to read this. But it's the Hyper Real Glow Duo Fortune Teller Blizzard Wizard Red with red pearl, white that breaks gold. And they came out with two colors. The other color is also um, Step Right Up, Alchemy, Alchemy, Golden Bronze, and Top Gold. Um, but I really liked the color of this Fortune Teller Blizzard one because it was like a red and white and it reminded me of peppermint. So I wanted to go with this one. This is the outside packaging. I love how it's like pepperminty feel. Um, this thing is pretty big. Um, it says it's 0.28 ounces. So it a, looks like a pretty good size highlighter, which is good because it retails for $38. I did use my 20% off coupon when buying this, so I didn't pay full retail value, but I did get it a little bit discounted. So honestly, I've never bought a MAC highlighter before. I have usually only buy their lipstick and I've had some setting spray from them as well. So this is a whole new experience for me, which I'm really excited for. Um, but then it could also set the mood for how I feel about future highlighters from them, which could be good or bad. <laughs> so this is the outside packaging. Um, it's like a plastic feel, but it feels pretty sturdy. And then this is raised here with this peppermint kind of like, I guess like little em embellishment, I guess you could call it, but it's a little bit raised there. Um, it's all plastic, but it's a pretty sturdy plastic, um, so I, it doesn't feel cheap to me whatsoever, and it does look pretty big, so very happy about that, especially for the price that you pay. So there is a little button down here that you push, and then it'll open it up. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. If this doesn't scream Christmas, I don't know what does. <laughs> but it totally reminds me of peppermint candy or a candy cane. Um, these colors are beautiful. Now I am very weird about, I'm weird about my colors touching, especially when I have like this white color in here. Like I don't wanna swirl it all around, but I know that's the purpose of this highlighter is to do that, is to just take your brush and swirl it all around. But I hate it when colors touch and the white isn't white anymore. That's, I don't know, I'm just weird about that. But that's just part of this highlighter. So I'm gonna have to get over it. And I even told myself when I was buying it, I'm like, I have to get over this like little fear of mine. <laughs> So um, if you look really closely, it's kind of like a burgundy shimmer color. And um, it does describe on the website that it is a red with red pearl and a white that breaks gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch on the back of my hand for you guys and just swirl it all over. Ugh. See, that's what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> but I knew it was going to happen. Ugh. But this is it on my finger. This looks absolutely beautiful, especially together. That is beautiful. That is super pigmented, very creamy, very buttery, and it gives me those Christmas vibes. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna apply this on my face and see how it looks with my look today. 
now that I have you guys zoomed in on my face, <laughs> up close and personal, but that's the only way you can see what I'm doing and if you like it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. Oh, I'm already so bummed that the white is not white anymore. Oh, but I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this Vanity Planet brush that I have, um, and I'm gonna apply my highlighter with this. I love this kind of brush for up above my eye looks for below my eyebrows because it's just so thin that it doesn't get all over the place and it goes exactly where I want it to. All right, so I swirled this little guy around so I get all the red and white. It's very pretty, it's not as pigmented on my brush as I thought, but when I go in for the second coat, it's much more pigmented, so I'm happy with that. Um, and there was pigmentation with the first, it just wasn't as much as I like for my highlighter, but as you can see here, applied, and here nothing yet. I'm gonna go in with a second because I just want a little bit more. There we go. So personally for me, I want to go in twice with this highlighter because I feel like one, it just gives you kind of like the faint look. Um, but this is very pretty, very Christmassy. I love it. Um, the blush I used today was also kind of like a fall Christmassy kind of blush. So I thought it would pair well with this highlighter and it really does, it it goes beautifully. Also my eye look today, I think it's gonna look good when I put it up above my eye look. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see when I apply it above my eyes and right below my eyebrows. Also, if you hear my dogs in the background, I apologize, they are wrestling outside but where I film is really close to outside, so you're probably hearing them occasionally, and that's just them playing, so I apologize. That looks really pretty, and actually it goes well with my eye look today, which I was hoping for. Um, I used um, the new Christmas coffee from Too Faced for my eye look. Um, I did a review on that and also swatches, which I'll leave the link up above here if you're curious on how I did my eye look. The next thing I purchased from MAC for their holiday collection is one of their holiday lipsticks in the color for my next trick, which is a mid-tone pink. The packaging is very similar to the highlighter, so it has this peppermint vibe to it, which is really pretty. It just gives me all of the feels. <laughs> and then this is the casing. It is plastic, very, very similar to the highlighter um, in how it looks, how it feels. It's plastic, but like a sturdy plastic, not a cheap plastic. So it has a feel to it that it has a little bit of metal a little bit around here um, with some plastic, so I can't really tell, but it definitely feels a little bit more, even more sturdy with this. So this is just beautiful here, and so this is considered a mid-tone pink. I love how it kind of gives you that vibe of a little bit, it almost looks a little red, but also pink. So I really love that, because red, I. I've started to be a little bit more, I guess, um, adventurous with it, but it's still not my go-to color. I'm very careful with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch on the back of my hand so you guys can see that as well. That is very, very pretty. So I definitely get more pink than I do red, which is fine, because it is considered a mid-tone pink, and that's kind of what I was looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna apply this for you guys and show you how it looks on the lips. That 
is just beautiful. It gives me the balance of pink and red, which I really love, especially since red it intimidates me a little bit on my lips. So I love this color, how it gives me a little bit of both. I get a little bit of that red, but I also get a little bit of pink, so it's not straight on one or the other, so I love that. And this lipstick, it retails for $21. So, um, and there are five different colors in this collection for their holiday lipstick. So depending on what you want, it's very smooth on the lips. It feels hydrating. Um, and I really like that a lot. It has um, castor seed oil in it, so I'm sure that helps with keeping your lips moisturized. And this formula, a lipstick, is also a matte formula in case you were wondering. Thanks for stopping by with Glow with Candace. I hope you enjoyed these couple unboxing of a few items from the MAC Holiday Collection for 2021. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button down below. And if you're new here and wanna see future videos like this and more by me, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back. But until next time, bye.